We are here, Colonial Virginia. We're gonna hunt this field here. Um, this is an old family of Surrey. Um, it was actually in my family, the Edwards side, back in the 1800s, and then it sold to another family. Opal's ready to get into the back of the truck. She's ready to go. Um, so we'll see what we can find here. Uh, we've got this field and another one we just gained permission for, so we'll let you know what we can find. Hopefully we'll do good. All right, well, there's my first dig. Oh, why well, couldn't have at least been an Indian head? 1953 Wheat Penny. Ah, struck out there. But we do have a lot of field to cover. We just need to get at least in those 1800s and we'll be good. Well, at least it's brass. And y'all know what this is? thought it was a money clip but it's not I'll have to clean that up I'm not even sure how old it is anyway all right maybe getting somewhere not sure but this is always good right here um, dug this hole and up out popped out a piece of old porcelain so, old ceramics whatever look at this awesome button i think it's one of those blowhole buttons or something i don't know i'll have to look at it i'm not sure but i found one of these one time with dan frezza and he obviously i have great respect for those guys and uh he had mentioned to me that, that was my best find of the day and i found some few decent things but this looks like it something like that i'm gonna have to get it cleaned up but it definitely looks pretty awesome we'll have to see i have to get that cleaned up that's where i just dug that button and it's not a, a hole button a blowhole button or whatever they call it but it is a really old button um very old but that's where i dug that now i've got this a sweet high hidden nice high whistle 77 78 i've got the headphones on so you guys can't hear it but pinpoint it it's right there but you guys will certainly be able to see it here in just a second looks like it might just be a piece of lead flattened out but i don't know we'll have to check it out all right, here's the situation. We have, we still have plenty of land to scan, but possibly thinking this has been hunted, we're not sure yet. I don't think we've been here that long. So we're gonna hunt it for a little bit longer. It is 140, and then we're gonna try the field on the other side there. Maybe the house sat there, and um, this was just another section of the farm. I don't know. I may have egg on my face on this one, but hopefully, you know something will come out we do have a couple other places so hopefully this will pan out uh stay with us we did decide to come to this front field by this road um and good thing we did it's my second dig opal's got something over there i don't know what but here's a good old dandy button right here look at the size of that sucker oh yeah yes sir Hopefully, uh, she'll clean up nice. A little beat up, but hey, 300 years old. What do you expect? I'm filming now. Anyway, um, I had to go look for Opal's pinpointer. I've done it before. I've lost it. Um, man, okay, so we've dug a lot of trash here, but this is one of those overlapping spots. But this is kind of beautiful. It's an old brass buckle. I'm not sure of the 
age, but it's nice. We'll take it. We just got to keep digging, and it's one of those overlapping sites that has a lot of modern stuff, but you got to pick through it because the old stuff is here. That's for sure. Um, anyway, um, I didn't show you the, all the bottle caps and tin cans I've dug in the wheat pennies, but <laughs> anyway, I did dig those. So anyway, we'll uh, keep going. <laughs> well, we are into the night, and it is misting a little bit, but uh, I did find this little core badge. Or I, I said core badge, I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what it is. Some sort of badge. It could be horse. Could be something to a horse, possibly, but it's pretty cool. Brass. I'm trying to see if I can get a better angle here. A nice little flat button. It's got the shank on it. Obviously, I do not know if it has anything on it or not, but uh, man, it's beautiful. I don't know why the camera effect is that way. It is raining a bit, but I'm not sure what that's all about. <laughs> but uh, anyway, nighttime hunting. I love it. Oh wow, we just arrived at this location and literally my first dig out here. Buddy of mine, thank you so much for letting us do this. Um, we're gonna make a display case. This is my first dig. Look at this carved bullet. Isn't that freaking sweet? I don't know why it's carved like that, but that is awesome. No idea why that's carved that way, but I mean, that's sweet. Look at that. Look at the point. Opal is over there. Man, I hope this place, we got high hopes for it. I'll give you a hint. It's in Mechanicsville. <laughs> Boom. All right, Opal's got a bullet over there, and so do I. Oh, she's got a carved bullet. You got a carved one? All right, I'm going to come check it out. Oh, yeah. There's one. Heck, yeah. Let's go look at that. Let's Let check it out. Oh, yeah. That looks like an infield. Yeah, but it's... That's an infield bullet, babe. That's a good bullet. That's Confederate. That's a nice bullet. It's an infield. Sweet. Pulling bullets. Been here ten minutes, five, ten minutes. Hell yeah. You know who you are. They gave us permission. I'm not going to name names, but thank you so much. <laughs> You're going to see uh, what we find, and we're going to make you a display case, buddy. This is awesome. I think I've got another bullet. I'm going to set the camera down and uh, do this one live. Give me one second. It's got to be some buttons in this area. It's got to be. Okay. And pointer went off right here. Let's see. Yep. You got to love it when it works out like this. Oh yeah, check that out. There it is. It's another bullet? Yes, and this is a pulled bullet. Okay. Excuse me, no, this was shot with a ramrod. With a ramrod in it. That is freaking awesome. We are finding some really cool bullets. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet. Oh, yes, there it is. It's a button. Oh, oh my God. 
please tell me this isn't a, C a staff officer's confederate button. Oh my god. I don't know. It looks... Oh wow. I don't know. But that is awesome. I have no idea what that is. We're gonna... Oh, babe. Look. Button. I'll clean it up and we'll take a look at this. That might be World War era, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's got an eagle on it, and we're digging Civil War, so we're going to keep going. Sweet. I'm pretty sure this was a camp. I mean, all the carved stuff we're finding, for sure. Oh, nice. Oh, look at, I don't know, man. That definitely, that was either hit with a hammer during camp. Oh, that hit something hard. Well, they just make chips and stuff, babe. They would use these for poker chips. They would use them for everything, but I don't know. Definitely, I think it was a little boat they camped in. Maybe there was a battle. You got to remember right. how often this area was utilized for war and camps. And Union camps often took over Confederate camps and vice versa. Throughout this area, at least. Yes, sir. There it is. Fresh out the ground. Another infield, babe, like you just dug. Heck yeah. Infield. Sweet. Awesome. Hope we'll just dug another, uh, another flattened bullet. So, uh, we're digging some stuff here, man. There's definitely some things here in the ground, for sure. Look at the size of those infield bullets. Are they beautiful? Awesome. This signal sounds really good. I've got my headphones on, so I don't really think you're going to be able to hear it, but I want to show you on the detector what it's coming out like. Um, 74, 75, nice and high and tight. Right, man, look at the J hook. Look at the knapsack hook. Look at that. It's awesome. That is sweet. I'll take that. Always cool to find. Went to their knapsack and it's just hooked into another piece. Definitely signs of a possible camp or battle. I mean, you know, I think this is possibly a close quarter battle area. Um, you know, with the battles that we've researched in this area, this could have definitely been uh, one of those close quarter deals. It's awesome. I'll take it. Sweet. Right. Right there. Boom. Oh, man, I'm loving it today. This is so nice. Look at that big old three ringer. Beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful location. Having a blast. What a beautiful day. Um, just want to say thank you to the buddy that gave me permission, my wife and I, to hunt this place. We have been finding some stuff, and I will show you. You will see the video. <laughs> uh, it's just a piece of melted lead. Looks like a melted bullet, actually. I'm just trying to hit this tree line. There is a humongous tree right there. It doesn't look that big right now, but let me tell you something. That sucker is huge. We might go explore it. Check and see if it's his property or not. We're trying to stay right on it. Um, it's not worth trespassing, especially when you have this. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching again. And hopefully I'll dig something else besides bullets. But I love digging bullets. Thanks a lot. So this is pretty cool. Here's a 
part of a bullet that is actually look at that it's like been chopped right in half or quartered or something you can definitely see one of the one or two of the rings right there at the bottom it's really crazy not sure what they would do with that but when they're in camp and bored man no telling right all right looks to be a fired infield bullet At least that's what it appears to look like to me. If you see something different, let me know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's carved. Looks... Look at that. What the hell? Whatever it is, that's really sweet. It's a bullet. Civil War. Oh, there it is. Ooh, yes. Alright. Three ringer. Man, we're digging some bullets today. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Out here at night, the red lamp. <laughs> um, got another lead carved hook. Well, I say another more trick yard. Lead carved hook, man. Sweet, already dug a couple bullets tonight. Awesome. It's beautiful out here tonight. Got like a semi full moon. I can't see it. It's behind me. Oh, uh, but there we go. Red light special, baby.